For various reasons, you may wish to change the drive letter of one of the, the drives in your system. This is a fairly easy process in um, each version of Windows. This video will show you how to do that in Windows 7. So I'm going to um, add an external or an additional hard drive to my system here and I'd like it to use the D drive which is currently used as you can see by one of my CD drives. What I'm going to do is change this drive here to drive E and my, my new one will become drive D. So to do that you want to go to the start menu down here and type in admin. Select the option for administrative tools. Let's pull this down here and go into computer management. In computer management under storage you want to select disk management. This will take a moment to scan your drives and if I scroll down here you can see this disk 1 with alloc unallocated space is what I'm going to use um, my new volume. So I have the CD-ROM drive 0 and 1 I'm going to right click on the drive I wish to change and select change drive letter and paths. We're going to click change and select the new drive letter. I'm going to go for E. OK. It will give us a, a small warning here. Are you sure you want to do that? Um, I'm going to say yes. It's an external hard drive, it's OK. The, the warning is such as if you have perhaps a hard drive in which you have shortcuts or applications that will reference data on that drive. If you change the drive letter there's, there's a possible risk there that the, the files might not be found. Um, it's not so much an issue for an external or a CD-ROM drive, that's okay. Um, so if I go back now, I'll pull this down and let you see, you know, you can see this now, drive E. It's, it's a confused here but if I right click and refresh, the changes have been made. And uh, and that's all there is to it. It's a fairly easy process. And I can now go and uh, create a new volume on my additional hard drive here. It'll probably automatically select drive D. Um, when go next. Uh, next, I'll finish. And uh, as you can see, my new volume has been created there. If I turn back to the computer video, that's why the computer screen. There we go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for other videos. Thanks.